What's not to love about Escona? I mean, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. As a matter of fact, I will probably come back here next year for vacation. One of the main qualities for, for doing session work is versatility, is probably the number one thing, being able to play different styles of music convincingly, and consistency, being able to play it over and over and over perfectly many times, because on a recording session, maybe you play it perfect the first time, but one of the violinists has a wrong note, they have to fix that, we have to do it again, so you have to play it again and again and again. So consistency is kind of key. In versatility, you have to be able to play, if somebody tells you to play something that sounds very old fashioned, something from maybe the 19, 1930s, you know, it's gonna be very different, or maybe something like, with you know more Louis Armstrong sounding kind of vibrato and you need to understand that music and understand if it's something classical, it needs to sound more classical. If it's something more modern, of course, or improvised. And so those are probably the most important things to know about being a session musician. Because if you can only do one thing, you're only gonna get called to do that one thing. You have to wear many different hats. One of my heroes, trumpet heroes, was Maynard Ferguson who Wayne played in Maynard Ferguson's band, and I met him at My a, hero too, yeah. yeah and, and I met him at a very young age. I was in high school, and I saw one of his concerts, and I had one of his records with me. And I went to the stage, and he very graciously signed the record and autographed it, and it was my prized possession. And he wrote one word. He wrote, listen, and he signed his name Maynard Ferguson. And at the time, I thought, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. I didn't really understand what he meant, but now, fast forward many years later, I completely understand what he meant. And his whole concept was listen to music, listen to the styles, listen to you know, what it is that you want to accomplish. And, you know, and, you know cause music can, can be so many forms. Uh, like Wayne was talking about stylistic approaches. Well, if you don't hear the music and you don't listen to it, you'll never be able to play it. That's something that I try to pass on to my students, give them things to listen to so they can, you know, you can hear it, you can get the concept in your head and feel it in your body and be able to, you know, just enjoy the art and the love of music. Playing for the audiences the last two days has been such a wonderful experience. I mean, every, every note that every person played, the audience was, was behind every note and they were supportive. And as, as performers, you feed off of the energy of the audience and the audiences here at Ascona have been fantastic and it's, made, it's been so it's such a joyful experience to play and we leave, we leave the stage with a feeling of euphoria that, uh, that has been really the connection with the audience and it's been a fantastic experience for all of us. Um, the feeling when I get up there, I feel like the people are really listening and not just, our music is not just wallpaper. A lot of times music is just in the background and people are doing other things, you know, at many jazz festivals in the United States. Uh, there'll be, Herbie Hancock will be playing on stage and you will see a beach ball being bounced around and they're there having fun and not really listening to the music. So uh, I found the audience, audiences here to be very uh, attentive listeners, which we can see and we feed off of. So it's been fantastic. Come on. Ha, 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 ha.